Hey girls, a very exciting haul. I've literally just finished a beauty haul. Now we're going on to major fashion from Primark and this is all summer based stuff. So this is something I haven't picked up in a long time so I was really excited to see what they had, like what I could style together, mix and match and I went to the really big one in Tottenham Court Road in London. So that is probably one of the biggest in London, basically the Oxford Street one. And yeah, it was jam packed but somehow I managed to look through everything and even try things on which I normally never do so pat on the back but yeah without further ado let's just get into it because I have a lot of pieces here to show you guys right first one is a bikini top and I'm not sure if this matches with any bottoms but I basically got a black top and then found black bottoms that more or less match so maybe it is a set either way I like that you don't have to buy both um, in the same size because this one I had to go up in a very big size, the smaller ones just do not fit me. But anyway, this is what it looks like, very very simple and classic. It actually kind of reminds me of something Emily Ratajkowski would wear. Of course I'm not going to transform into her when I wear this, but it's nice that I've kind of had that inspiration behind it, and I was kind of thinking, what would M. Rata do? And this is kind of what I came up with, but it's really really cute, normally I don't go for black bikinis, I like something with colour or design, but I do like that it's a little more simple and sleek. And then I got another bikini top, so I'll show you the bottoms in a second, I just have these um, at the top of the bag. So this is what this one looks like, it's also a little bit bigger, but I do enjoy the, not enjoy, what? <sighs> I, I cannot speak today. I do really like that it's got this kind of striped almost nautical design here, kind of retro and chic, very like Calvin Klein-esque. And yeah, let me try and just find the bottoms. Hold on. All right, got one. So this is for that top I just showed you guys with the stripes. This is what these look like. Um, again, I went, I got a 10 in these actually, and they fit nicely, but because they're high-waisted, I didn't want them to be super tight. I wanted, I knew that they could be a little bit looser because you can like pull them higher or keep them a little lower on your hips. But I like that again, it's got a little belt. It looks very, very chic, almost like Bond girl type style. Like, you know, they wore those almost like tankinis and like very high waisted pieces in the 60s, 70s, so I thought this was really cute and um, a nice little throwback piece. And then I got another swimsuit, but let me find the bottoms to that. They're basically just plain black again, so normal bikini bottoms, no weird shape to them, but I thought that was super cute. And then one last piece that I love, they had this in black as well, so do go in store if you like this. But I like that the kind of cream version, I think with the tan, this would look awesome. Oh, sorry, I haven't been telling you guys the prices. So this one was £12. So it's one of the more pricier items I picked up, but definitely worth it. The material feels really um, like stretchy and durable, so I think it will last me a few years. And then it's got this like tie-up detail here going all down the neckline and chest and then of course it ties up here so you can adjust it depending on your bust size like you can make it looser bigger like tighter so I think any body shape would suit this really nicely and I like that it's like a very creamy ivory shade and yeah it's just a normal swimsuit but also super special I think it's not like your very basic swimsuit and yeah that's it for kind of swimwear I didn't find too much because everything was like a neon or like way too trendy like snake print and that's just not really my vibe when I'm on holiday but if that's what you like and you want to maybe you're going on like more of like a girls trip like something really really fun and you're going clubbing things like that that could be really nice for that I think for me I was just looking for something a little more sophisticated and then I just picked up a basic because I do like their basics, very very cheap, um, you don't have to worry about the quality and you can just like mix and match and whatever, so yeah, buy in bulk. But the only thing I did manage to find that I really liked was this black stretchy top, I got it in a small so that it's tight but not too tight, um, just something a little longer that I can tuck into high waisted skirts and trousers, things like that. So I thought that was really cute. I got a skirt which I normally never ever wear or buy denim skirts and I just never know how to style denim skirts but I did manage to find a really nice dark wash one. I got this in a 12, this is high waisted and because I'm so tall I want it a little lower on the hips, not so much like waist waist length height 
Um, I thought it would be a little bit better if I just had a little lower. Still tucked in with a crop top. I do actually have quite a small waist, so I don't think it'll look too unflattering if I pull it down a little further than it's meant to be. But anyway, yeah, 12 fit me quite nicely. It wasn't super tight or anything, and their sizes are pretty small. I would say they run very small, especially if you're buying tighter, more like skinny fit clothes and bottoms. Definitely consider going a size up. So anyway, like I said, a, a size 12 high-waisted denim skirt just looks like this. It is short, I think, on anyone, even if you're petite, it will be short. But for me, I'll just wear black tights or, yeah, just any kind of tights underneath it. And it comes up about mid-thigh on me. But I really, really like it and it's something new in my wardrobe that I would normally wear. Next is another pair of, like, really weird... Not weird, but, like, for me, it's out of my comfort zone. Denim jeans. This is... I got in a 10 because they're high-waisted, but they're mum style, like, vintage mum jeans like something you'd expect from the 80s like with those really really thick vintage trainers and like a big baggy jumper or something that's just what I imagine 80s style could be but anyway they look like this they're more of a lighter mid wash and they come up high on the waist and the 10 actually fits me quite nicely um normally I'd go for an 8 if I'm wearing high waisted but this actually sits really nicely just above like just on my waist and they are full length on me, they are just about ankle grazers. They barely hit my ankles, but because they're so loose and that is kind of like a good trend, and yeah, I could wear trainers with them. It wouldn't look weird. I do like that. I really like the mum style um, jeans because on top you can kind of wear whatever you want. There are no rules with that. I feel like I could wear a really tight crop top, but it wouldn't look weird. When I have really, really tight skinny jeans, I feel a little bit too self-conscious to wear a really tight crop top to be honest so this is a nice like compromise for me okay next i oh and i oh we have two items left so these are really boring but these are flip-flops for a holiday i got these in a large because i'm an eight so these are seven to eight and they always fit me fine so pretty basic but definitely something you um should look into if you need some basics for your holiday primark literally has everything so yeah last final item is some lip balms so i was using the was it like the jelly bean one um i can't remember the flavor like strawberry or something but they always have really cute flavors like pepsi or whatever which to me sounds really really gross but hershey's one sounds delicious like cookies and cream yes please and from what I can see, these are vegan. They don't actually have any, they don't have chocolate or anything like that in them. Um, it doesn't say anything about the ingredients, but I can't see anything that doesn't mean they're vegetarian. If you know any otherwise, please do let me know so I won't pick these up again. But they smell really good. They taste all right. Don't really eat them. But if you lick your lips, they do smell, They do taste pretty good. And they are quite moisturizing. So yeah, I have quite high hopes for these. They were only £2.50, which I think for two lip balms that last a long time is really good value for money. So that is everything I have to show you guys. Like I said, it was a pretty lengthy haul. For me, this was a big purchase from Primark. I got two of those really big bags. Like they actually had to put it inside another bag so it doesn't break. So that's when you know you went pretty ham in Primark. But yeah, thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy, if you like these Primark hauls. I would have done a try on haul, but I have so many new clothes that I'm thinking of splitting up into different types of lookbooks. And yeah, let me know below what you think of that and what you thought of this haul. And I'll see you next time. Bye!